good morning on this gloomy day on the south coast of England. We have popped down to the coast to test out and to use for the first time proper in the camper van our new coffee maker. So stay tuned. Okay, so we've got it. This is our Mini Presso NS. It is a little, it's a coffee maker, basically. Um, it's really pretty neat. It's about the size of a, there's my iPhone, so it's not much taller than my iPhone, about you know, smaller than a cup of coffee takes these little pods here okay so we'll get to that in a second but basically it's really really straightforward let me take this apart for you so we've got a little thing that pulls off here at the bottom which you put the water in a little cleaning brush which you don't need to worry about at the top we have a little cup and in here in this part here this is where the pod goes so I don't know if you can see that the pod just sits in there basically really simple pod so machine pod goes in there and then that screws on which we will screw on in a minute but we need water that's all we need so we'll get that boiling. So how it works is, you put the water in here, the pot in there, and then you can see a little nozzle at the end there. Uh, and basically, once the pod's in, you screw it down, which pierces the pod, or clamps the pod. The water then fits to the bottom. You turn the whole thing upside down. That pops out, and you pump that 10 times or so, and you start to get the coffee coming out. So we've got some got some hot water. So let's do let's do that bit. Okay. So hot water, which just goes in here. There's a little line in there that we have to fill it up to. That's that. And then like I said, pod. I don't know which is the best one to show you this on. So the pod just goes in like that. Move it out of the way. And then you can see in here there's little serrated edges. That just clamps on the top and we screw it like that. This is the careful bit. The water. There's no real thread on this, it's just kind of a, a clamp on like that. So once that's on, this is popped out. Let's get that in the camera shot there. We turn this upside down. And all we do now is we just pump this bit here. I don't know if we can, you can see that. This bit here, we just pump in and out. So let's see. Let's just trying to make sure we can see both of it. So let's get this. So one, they say about eight, two, before it starts coming out. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's, I could just feel something go then. Seven, there we go. So we are now getting 
a nice fuck. I love that smell. Oh, yeah. So we're now not getting a nice espresso coming out. You can see it coming out there. You just keep pumping it basically, and you'll know when it's finished because the pump, which is a bit stiff at the moment, it gets really. There we go, see it's getting easy now, so that means all the water's gone through. And you can see that there is nothing, a little bit more. There we go, nothing coming out. That's that. So we just leave that to one side for now, because that's done. And if I take this, you can see that we have a pretty, a bit more light here. Where are we? Get it lined up so I can show you to you. Pretty nice steamy cup of coffee. So that's the espresso shot. Now, you can have it like that, obviously. That's pretty good. But the other thing we can do is tip it into milk, make a latte out of it. So the good thing about this is at the side of the road, you don't need to do anything apart from pull the kettle and you've got a shot of coffee. Um, you know, it's not instant coffee. It's a, it's a proper pod um, like you'd have at home. So if you've got a coffee machine at home, then it does pretty much the same thing. Um, obviously you have to boil the water separately, which is, uh, you know, no big deal really. Um, but it basically means that you've got coffee on the go. So let's now try and get some milk going. The Hampshire Rangers have just driven past, but I'm pretty sure I'm not doing anything wrong. Just having a cup of coffee in the morning. Um, so that is that bit. Let's now get the tea to do. Obviously, if you want to make it a latte, you will need to Okay, so we're now gonna just chill some milk. Chill some milk? Warm some milk. Probably should have measured that first. I'm kind of guessing here. Just gonna open this a tiny bit because it's a bit steamy. Um, there's a cup of glass in that I've got down here somewhere. There's a glass and we'll come to this little gadget in a minute. So let's, let's get that milk that milk bubbling. I think these are about £50. I'll put a link in the description below. I think they're about £50, um, which might seem quite a lot, but they're a great little gadget. They're so strong. You know, it's like a brick. Um, and it just is coffee anyway. You know, you can pull over, boil the kettle, and you've got a really nice coffee, which I think is, is a lot better than instant coffee. Um, because it is a pod, it's you know, it's it's, it's a proper. I know it's not your, your your original beans or anything like that, and I'm no coffee expert. Don't get me wrong, as you probably can tell. Um, but it is just better than instant coffee, in my opinion. And you can turn it into. Um, it's basically a shot of espresso. So if that's your thing, drink it. If you like to make a longer drink out of it, we're just going to wait for this milk to boil, and then we will. We'll show you how we do the latte, which is pretty straightforward, you can probably imagine, but we're here now, so it gives me the chance to show you, to show you that as well. So we'll just wait for this milk to boil. Right. Okay, so the milk is just starting to boil, so let's do that bit now. Mm, it's not quite simmering, maybe another minute or so, I can hear something, but... I haven't even got any spoons out, look. I don't really need a spoon, I don't think. We'll get a spoon out anyway. Here we go, okay, so the milk is... Ha, huh? warmed up. So, very carefully, we are going to pour the milk in like that. How well have I judged it? That's not bad. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and then we have this little thing here, which is an Aero Latte, which basically is a... And we just throw up the milk, so... 
let's see what happens with this. Whoa. I think I've put too much milk in. I'm going to pour a little bit of milk out. Ah, that's hot. Yeah, making a mess everywhere, but hey ho. Okay. So you can see that throughing up. I'm going to put this around here because I think there's a little bit better lighting. And then, once that's done, it's just a case of dropping in your espresso shot. And there you have it. It's the first time I've done that. Normally I just have that whoosh, one of those, but that looks pretty good. There you go, latte on the go. You do have to boil the milk, you do have to boil the water. Um, it is going to be better than those little sachets you get, or you know, if you just want to pull over at the side of the road and have a have a quick shot, you don't even need the milk. You can just have it, bang, just have one of those. But I think that that, although it's hot, it is hot, so it warmed up well. That is a pretty successful first outing for the camper van trip for the mini 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 presso designed by Wakako. Like I said, I'll put a link down below in the description so you can have a look at that if you want to. Um, this as well, the Aero Latte, it, I mean, you saw that, it just takes batteries. I think it, just, it, it throughs it up really well. And you can see now it's, um, there you go. You have a nice, Half decent latte. Cheers. Okay, so I hope you, that was useful. If you um, got any comments, leave them down below. I will reply to them. And if you want to see more videos like this of camper van trips and tips and what we get up to, please like, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell so you get the notifications. And thank you so much for watching as always. It's a pleasure to have you. I will see you in the next video. So. Cheers, happy camping. Ah, it's still hot.